guys, this is the Jackal, and this is a review of Transformers Dark of the Moon, Voyager class, Shockwave. Um, nice Voyager, I really like him. Um, no, not much people really like this, um, but I find it one of my favorites, so, yeah. So here he is in his Cybertronian tank. Nice, uh, purple he is, along with the silver and the gray. Got some gold bits, too, on a little tank and whatnot, so. And there's a little tiny Decepticon logo right there. And he does come with his weapons, um, like a sword, and of course the main big gun. It does come with a hose, and it can. There's a designated um, ta or peg or whatever at this short side. Yeah, the little. This one is supposed to go into the cannon itself, and you can basically plug the hose anywhere you want. You can do that. You can go crazy, you can try to get it down there, put it back here, da -de -da. I just like to put it right back here, it kind of helps it hide a little bit more. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, real nice, um, again, um, I'm going to get a uh, vehicle mode comparison. So here he is with the animated Voyager Optimus. So, yeah, um. Yeah, really nice. I do like it. So, um, transformation, um, typical vo uh, Voyager. Um, there's a lot more stuff to focus on in robot mode. So, yeah. So, I'm peg the hose. You could take it off too. I kind of do it like that. I take off everything. Kind of find it easier. So I can straight it out more. And getting that gun off is kind of a pain too. So, yeah. Once you have everything like this, let me, whoop, get everything aside. Um, wanna unpeg the arm from because there is a tab right there. It goes in right here. So you just wanna pull this up, spin it around, just fold it down. Again, untab it, spin it around, and just. Leave it hanging. I want to come to the front by these little, um, the silver piece, and there's gold on there too. Nice gold. I'm gonna unpop that. There is two little tabs right in there. Just want to get that down. You want to take the legs, unpack it from the arm piece, pull the leg out. So you can go like this, rotate it. So same thing with that, unpeg it, flip it out, and just rotate it up. I'm gonna take this um, chest piece, flip it out, and where that would have tabbed in, there's that tab hole there. Should be another tab somewhere. It's kind of hard to see, but it does tab in like that. Just spin it inwards like that. Then the tabs on the chest pieces, you can see those pickles. Just tab that in like that. There you go, this chest section. You want to bring this entire section right here. You can just leave it because I'm going to get to the legs. I'm going to bring these down. And I do like how the legs transform too. I'm going to flip out this heel piece for stability. Now it is easy to forget this so um because the foot really does see it kind of does like that but the instructions do show that to get a little more stability pull out the little heel piece so yeah so it's like that and he does have little pegs and i got a message on facebook okay but um up up these knee pads. I'm gonna check this message real quick. Stay tuned. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get a message from Bionicle Combiners. So, sorry about that. So, yeah. Got the knee pads up. Now we're working on the arms. So, just wanna flip them down. You can flip out the hands. And the weapons do attach in this mode, of course. So, gonna flip out the hands. Gonna spin this piece around where that tab is. There should be a tab over right there. Just add that in right there. Then 
bring this up. You want to take that, push it down. Just want to have it in like that. And you can bring in his head around like that. And there is Dark of the Moon Shockwave, just not weaponized up. So, yeah. Really nice, again. I uh, do got gold apps on his chest right there, along with the treads, which is nice silver. Got purple on, like a lightish purple on the chest, along with the gray. I got purples on his thighs, um, like a, again, that light purple from the chest on the knee guards or knee caps. Got the silver on the treads. You got the spikes, the light purple. You got grays. So, yeah. For a, well, before I get him weaponized, I'm going to get him quick robot mode. Here he is with Voyager Sentinel. So, yeah. Even look at that light pipe and watch his head. He's blinking. He sees you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I can't really tell at this angle, but I think Chuck was a tad taller. So, yeah. And, of course, to get him all weaponized up. Um, there's a tab on there. Peg it in. Like that. And on... There's a tab right there. And there's a tab right there. You can pl uh, pl uh, bleh, plug this in right here, but it doesn't really work as well. So... That's where they mainly focus to put this weapon on this arm. So, um, yeah. It is a lot easier. And I forgot to show off the mech tech gimmick. So, I guess I'll do that too. So, there he is. I'm just going to get his hose on real quick. And he falls. <laughs> so, you want to peg this uh, in. Like that. I'd like to get it through, like right after this spiky part, you can pick it in. If it wants to go in. Yeah, I find it easier that if you take this silver piece, put it back up, and put this in, it does help. So, there we go. So that is kind of tricky once you're getting that up with the silver piece down. So there is Shockwave all weaponized up. So, yeah. Now the Mac Tech weapon does activate. There's this gray button back here. And he went from a big blaster to an even bigger blaster. So, like that. And for the Voyagers, it does lock. Just want to get it up like that. You can just flip in the hand like that. So, yeah, I usually like to leave the hand in. So yeah, and again, I really, really like this Voyager. One of my favorites. I'm just not sure if any of you guys would like this because not much people really like the movie stuff. Basically, this guy, Voyager Megatron, Hunter of the Decepticons, Optimus, and the Dark of the Moon Walmart exclusive Optimus are basically the only Voyagers that I've liked out of the entire um, movie line that I own. I wish I do have Tomahawk. I didn't get him, so, uh, sadly. So, yeah. So, this has been the review of Transformers Dark of the Moon um, Shockwave. I do recommend it. Um, so, if you do find it, I would pick it up. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for more reviews, hauls, vlogs, unboxings, and plenty more to come. And again, please comment, rate, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Again, um, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.